the kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. The war against the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinis. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. But something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. The convicts took control of Kirinis. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. But his former slaves now demanded a high price. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed in exchange of tons of ore until the present day. Another convict was brought to the lift. He did not know, but he would change everything. Risk, high return, they said. You'll never get caught. <laughs> of course. Now it's just you and me, my friend. No weapons, no food, just a simple scroll. Hmm? What's happening down there? What the? Oh! Yeah! Close. Oh, shit. just happened. Oh, oh, I'm in one piece. Oh, thank God, no blood. Oh, where's the scroll? Oh, it's all right. Great, okay. Let's move on. Let's light this up. Oh, good. That'll do, I hope. Where are we? What a mess. What's going on here? All right. God damn it. Let's get the hell out of here.
What the heck's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. What the hell? In this place, some people's luck is worse than mine. I'll leave it here for a moment. Right. You don't mind if I take this with me, do you? I need it more than you do at the moment. Come on, my pretty. Come with me. Oh, God damn it. Shit. It's broken. Well, this is better than nothing, I guess. Make it easy for both of us. Okay, okay, calm down. Worst prison ever. Definitely. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. This doesn't look good at all. What the hell? Damn, man, what a mess. Can't be real. Hello. You've already had your time, right? Then I'll be on my way. I won't be bothering you. Okay, okay, easy now. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. Oh, let me go. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Oh, good morning. Yes, I believe I did. Although I don't remember very much of what happened yesterday. You discovered the local fauna. Those beasts are very violent at night. Conversely, they're somewhat more docile during the day. Luckily, I arrived to hunt something for breakfast. Better than you, eh? Their meat is a bit tough, but it tastes better than rookie meat. By the way, we haven't been introduced. My name is Diego, and I'm the leader of the shadows in the old camp. I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's not important. You're a convict in the colony now. New prison, new life. That's what people say anyway. I'm gonna call you Rookie. All right with you? Hey, that scroll belongs to me. Yes. 
I borrowed it while you were asleep. Don't worry, rookie. I'll give it back to you when we leave. It's an unusual document. Normally, rookies come in here with scrolls listing their crimes. <laughs> that legal formality is meaningless here. It doesn't matter what crimes you committed outside. You'll have plenty of time to work them off here. <laughs> if you live long enough. Yours, on the other hand, is special. It's red and carries a lacquered seal. It's a scroll intended for mages. What should I do with the scroll? Well, Rookie, there are things more dangerous than wild animals in this place. For example, the ambition of many prisoners and how little other people's lives are worth. In your place, I'd keep my mouth shut until I found one of the mages. Although in your situation, <laughs> That's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle of the old camp. The only way people can get in are Gomez's men. So, now you know. If you want to find them, first, you'll have to join the old camp. There's no other way. Well, I'll have to report yesterday's attack to Gomez shortly. But before we leave here, do you have any questions, Rookie? Why did you help me? You were in trouble, and I happened to be passing by. Call it honor. Call it justice. No one should have to fight without a decent weapon and a fair shot at winning. But above all, I helped you because you're a rookie. And my job is to give you rookies an opportunity. Look, rookie, the colony is very dangerous. And even more so at night. Never leave the camps without being properly equipped. Besides, all you newcomers have the curious habit of getting yourselves into trouble. But I won't always be around to help you. Hmm. Speaking of trouble, the scavengers were about last night. Did you see the attack on the lift? Yes, I was part of the cargo in the lift when it happened. Hmm. Very interesting. We're still investigating what happened and who was responsible. I think your testimony might be valuable. When we reach the old camp, you should speak to Gomez. I'm sure he'll be very interested in hearing what you have to say. Thank you very much. I don't have any more questions. <laughs> don't mention it. <laughs> it's always a pleasure. Hey, you showed promise in the fight. But that's not going to do much good without a weapon. And there are also lots of wild beasts between here and the camps. It would be folly to travel unarmed. You can start by taking a look around the exchange zone, near the elevator. I'm sure you'll find something useful there. When you get a decent weapon, come back and we'll go to the old camp together.
do you think you're doing, rookie? Okay, I'm sorry. My mistake. It won't happen again. Oh, awesome. I don't think Gomez will miss this. Hey! Oh, hello. I didn't hear you coming. I'm looking for, well, clues about last night's disaster. I see. <clears throat> well, I have to settle this soon. Gomez has little patience, and I have other, more urgent problems to attend to. What kind of problems do you have that are so urgent? Well, you see, in the old camp, you could never trust anyone, and even less of those who call you friends. Two of these friends, Cyrus and Bedig, took advantage of the fact that I had to come here to steal from me a very valuable pendant. They know it's important to me, but they would sell their mother in order to get some ore in the black market. What does the pendant look like? You'll recognize it easily. It is made of metal and has the shape of the god Adonos. No incrustations, no jewelry, no magical powers. It doesn't have much value. Clearly, it was stolen out of spite. Who are these old friends? They were more than friends. In fact, they were former business partners. We had our differences, and in the end, we decided to dissolve the business. But I never thought they would dare steal from me. Okay, let's be clear. If I help you, what can you give me in return? Hmm. A businessman. That's the attitude. I like you. Tell me, what are you looking for? Or what do you need? We can start there. Well, a decent sword would do me good. A weapon that is easy to obtain and has no owner, if you know what I mean. Oh, I understand. Okay. I won't tell Gomez anything if you don't tell anyone about our little deal. Okay? Okay, we agree then. The pendant in exchange for the sword. By the way, where can I find Saris and Beric? They've gone to the woods, near the bridge, I think. Be very careful. They are violent people. You'd better be prepared for anything. I'm sorry, Betty. It's the best for everyone. You. Caden sends you to kill me, right? Frickin' bastard.
No, wait. Don't kill me. Let's talk, please. No, please. This big golden bellia sign. Where have I seen this before? Hey, Caden, I'm back. I think I've been able to solve the mystery of the robbery and the pendant. Oh, really? Wow, that was fast. Okay, tell me, did you get the key? I mean, the pendant. Yeah, here it is. It wasn't easy to get back. Good boy. I knew I could trust you from the first moment I saw you. By the way, did you have problems with Saros and Bedig? What happened to them? When I arrived, Berig was already dead, and Saros attacked me. I had no choice but to kill him. The death of my former associates is a tragedy, if it is true. It is a pity that you have only your word and no proof of it. Luckily, you got the pendant, so everything else is irrelevant. Here, take Rufus's sword.
<laughs> not bad, right? Well, it's not the best sword I've ever seen, but it's much better than what you had before. At least you'll have a real chance of winning a fight with this one. Anyway, you've already found something to defend yourself with, and this meat is inedible. If it's all right with you, let's go to the old camp. What do you think of Kader? He gave me the sword. He's not a bad guy, but he's a survivor. And he's been surviving for a long time. You should be wary of him. This sword has a price, and Caden knows it. Always bear in mind that, in the colony, decisions have consequences sooner or later. All right, let's go. Great, follow me. So, Rookie, quite a show yesterday, eh? Okay, all of you stay where you are. Don't make me hurt you. <laughs> Very funny. The scene was actually pretty comical. At least to me. That's because it wasn't you risking your neck. If I'd have had a good sword, the fight would have gone differently. Of course. The champion of Corinis single-handedly defeats an army of nocturnal beasts. <laughs> I had them right where I wanted them, but then you had to come along. By the way, where are we? It looks like a theatre. It's actually an ancient temple that has seen different gods. You know, Inos, Adanos, and there you have him, Belia. It doesn't really matter anymore. If this is such an important zone, isn't it dangerous to have predators around here? Yes, and that's why we prefer to work during the day. The animals are starting to do stranger and stranger things at night. Why is that? I don't know. It might be the magic of the barrier, or because they've been trapped in the colony for so long. I see. Incidentally, Diego, are there many rookies in the colony? Few alive. Even fewer sane. Out of the new arrivals, I believe just you. Even so, being the old camp's nanny is no easy task, as you saw for yourself. Well, you're pretty good at it. You look like you've been doing it all your life. No, rookie. Before landing in this cesspool, I had a more comfortable life. And a more interesting profession, like everyone, I guess. Look, there's the guard post for the trade route. <laughs> Only two men guarding it. Yes, but what a pair. Especially Ori, he's a real character. Grouchy, loyal to the old camp, and a magnificent warrior. Whether it's with a sword or in a beer drinking contest. hardly even had two beers yesterday. Of course, Ori, don't you worry. It happens to the best soldiers, although less to the sober ones. Let me guess. Before you got here, you were a hitman. Or more like a bounty hunter. Am I close? Not even for a moment. And I doubt you'll be able to guess. By the way, does the name Gerbrand mean anything to you? No, I've never heard of him. Good. Better for you. So, you're not going to tell me what you did before and what brought you here? No, Rookie, we're still not at that point in our relationship. 
When we are, you'll know it. Damn. Hi, Bloodwin. I didn't expect to see you here. I thought Gomez was going to send Jackal. Nah, Jackal has to supervise the South Zone. So it's my turn to control the North Access to the Exchange Zone. And who the hell is this? Another of your clumsy apprentices? <laughs> I hope this one at least knows how to hold a sword. Yeah. I can defend myself better than you think. Trust me. He's right. So far, he's survived his first day, which is no mean feat. Anyway, are we going to the old camp now? No, Diego, I can't leave yet. I have to settle a debt with Drax and Radford as soon as possible. This new camp crap is really insistent, you know? Who are Drax and Radford? They are new camp hunters who normally work near the north gate of the old camp. And like good new camp scum, they can't be trusted. Yeah. They'll try to stab you in the back as soon as you turn around. An old camp soldier in debt to the new camp. Strange, isn't it? Watch your tongue. I'm an old camp guard. Not one of your kindergarten friends. <laughs> I don't have to give you any explanation. I need snapper meat and a wolf tusk, that's all. That was the agreement. And the sooner I fulfill it, the sooner I'll forget about them. Well, I think you got a mission, rookie. Wait, what? Don't worry, Bloodwing. He'll bring you what you owe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> This guy could barely kill a cockroach. Hello, I'm here. Believe me, he has several hidden virtues. He only needs training, that's all. Have you seen any wolves or snappers nearby? Yeah, at the top, near the watchtower. I saw a wolf, and around the area, a snapper trying to catch some unsuspecting animal. What the hell is a snapper? You know, the snapper. You fought them last night. They're a little bigger than the scavengers. Don't worry. I'm sure you can handle them. Well, actually, the scavengers are the snapper's minion. Anyway, it'll be fun to see what you can do, kid. Bring me the snapper meat and the wolf's tusk, and we'll keep talking. This smells awful. How can they use this garbage to lure wolves?
expecting this yes it's been a very easy mission it was enough to slay a huge wolf and a killer snapper and all with this crappy sword I told you this guy has what it takes to do the job good job for a rookie take this and remember you can always come to me at the old camp well that's very generous of you not generous smart if you need protection I can provide it Eh, for a small price. As long as you can afford it, of course. Yeah. Bloodwind doesn't lift a finger if there's no ore involved. That's his philosophy, isn't it? Eh, more or less. Well, rookie, now I need you to go up to the watchtower and extinguish the beacon. You remember I'm new here, right? What watchtower? In the colony, we use old abandoned towers to send messages remotely. A good flame is usually seen many miles away. That's it. Normally, it would be enough to knock on the door. But after the incidents of last night, Gomez has improved the security. And that's why the old camp soldiers will only open the door if they see that signal. And where's the watchtower? You can go up the road or take the elevator, as you prefer. It's at the top near where Bloodwind saw the snapper. Once you're there, you can use this key to open the door. All right, I'm on it. Welcome to your new home, Rookie. And this is just the beginning. 